Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we've got pulsating league action coming up for you. What might we see today, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Well, here's the starting 11 for Porto. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, they're playing with a midfield diamond, so key to their success will be the holding midfielder and the player in the number 10 position. They really need to influence the game here today. And the game begins. Good technique displayed, but quick thinking defensively. Oh, moving it nicely. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, no real accuracy and easy for the keeper. Mateo Suribe. Now can they make something happen? And nicely struck. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Well, opting for the short corner. And space to cross it. Might take the lead. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Well, I think it's fair to say the fans aren't too happy with that decision. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. going for the short one it might be on for them this looks promising real chance vital intervention and a goal now they have their opener and now they can celebrate Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. 
They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. And back underway, 1-0 it is. And snuffing out the danger. Oh, a lovely incisive pass. We had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Luis Diaz on attacking possibilities. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, it was completely miscontrolled. Possession lost. Bruno Costa. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Can he do it? Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Playing it in, relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Now what can they do from here? And he did what he had to do defensively. And they need to get tighter here. Straight offside, but only just. Well, very close to half-time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. And he keeps going. Making sure it didn't get past him. Corner kick played in. Well, the header at least made the goalkeeper think. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And they might be through here. Can they keep it out? Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Bruno Costa. Well, what a good piece of goalkeeping that was. But the equaliser can't be long in coming, surely. And it might be. But a crucial intervention inside the box. Charles Pickel. Excellent ball over the top. And routine for the keeper in the end. The cross far too close to him. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. 
Dangerous looking attack. Able to get a body in the way. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Big chance to get them on terms. And the challenge, crisp and clean. Luis Diaz. Wendell. And good use of advantage, the referee allowing play to continue. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Opportunity! Capable of so much better from that position. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Well, the referee took note of the earlier infringement, and a booking it is now. Luis Diaz. Happy to take on the shot. And no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. A lovely first touch. That wasn't easy. An effective challenge. Oh, big chance. And fed forwards. Well, deemed to be offside by the merest of margins. Well, it's very close to being the perfectly timed run. But whether it's an inch or a yard, he's still offside. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. So, half an hour remaining. Could be threatening. Superb block. And it's gone in! Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, as you can see, he gets there first, he makes good contact with the ball and finds the back of the net. That's a decent header. So 2-0 now. Bad pass. Well, those stats confirm it. Porto have enjoyed the majority of the possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Has a go. Body in the way.
short corner favoured. Luis Diaz. And Grujic. They really look after the ball when they have it. Interception to snuff out the danger. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. An unforced error, you've got to say. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Uribe. Fluency of movement. Could be splendid defending. Well, the short corner routine. Luis Diaz. Now a decent position. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp. The movement's been bright and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. And struggling to get the shot off. And the cross is very much on. And he takes it away. Might really be able to trouble them here. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Into the box it goes. The clearance wasn't decisive. Could be a chance to break here. Spot on with that tackle. Mehdi Taremi. Through it. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Well, he failed to get it away properly. And problem solved for now. The referee blows for full time, it ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, really, no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.